Um, well, that happened. Okay. Uh, I really don't know what to say. Um, so, well, other than, um, thank you. Thank you all so much for, for, for all the love and support that the Moomin reactions have been getting. Oh my god. Like, that, that video, that first video just exploded out of nowhere, and it's just like, oh my god, people want this. Did I find the thing that people want? And yeah, yeah, it's I'm, I'm not like I'm not I'm not being like oh I'm gonna be I'm gonna just like be a people pleaser you know do something that that I don't want to do just to please people I'm gonna like with this channel I'm gonna do what I want to do you know but I'm excited to see that that uh, the people coming around the people that have noticed that I've got something going on here that have found the moon reaction and loved it so much, so very much that it just it fills my heart with joy knowing that I'm just as excited that. You guys are just as excited to see my videos as I am to make them. I'm just super grateful for that. I don't really know what else to say. I'm just, I'm just floored. I'm just flabbergasted. So thank you all so much. So I'm gonna stop being a mushy gush because we, we've got, we've got these next five episodes. I'm super excited to get into them. I'm so excited to get back to movement. It's been a little while. I've, I've been super busy. But I'm going straight headlong into some more Moomin. I want to. I want. I want to get back to it. I'm so excited, fucking Moomin. I'm. I'm. I'm fucking elated. Oh my god. Let's. Let's. No pop and circumstance. Let's get into it. Snork Maiden is running as if the Grok is chasing her. I don't think I've ever seen her run so fast. What's happening to Snork Maiden? No. What's happening to Snork Maiden? No. I wonder what's the matter. Mommy, Mama! Mommy, Mama! Help! <laughs> My brother's on the cliff and, and he's about to jump off! Yo, what? what? Are you sure? He says nothing will prevent him doing it. Oh, please, you must stop him, Mommy! What? What? Did you say that you wanted me to help you with something, Snork Maiden? What? Yes, I want you to stop Snork jumping off the south side of the cliff! Oh, dear, I never thought he was the type. He said oh, my. He's a test flight. Oh, now what? A test flight, did you say? Now, wait a minute, Snork Maiden. Slow down and let me think. He's made the wings from the blueprint of the flying ship. Well, his plans are always very accurate. Right, hurry, everybody. There's no time to lose. Come on. I love how they... I love how they framed that. No, Moomin Mama was traumatized! I just love how they had the goddamn... They had the goddamn gumption to frame Snork jumping off a cliff like that. Rather than being like, so you gotta stop Snork, I don't think his his wings are going to are going to hold up him trying to jump off this cliff with them. He's going to hurt himself. No, just straight up. Snork's about to jump! He says there's nothing that can stop him! You gotta save his life! <laughs> He's been acting real weird lately! You're too young and brilliant for such a trage again. Thank you, <laughs> Booba. We were in time. Matter of fact, you were. Don't do it, Snork. I don't want to lose my only brother. Don't make such a fuss, Snork Maiden. Do you really think it's safe? Of course it is. <laughs> you don't see birds falling out of the sky. Well, 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 what was that face Snip was making? The ground, so that if something happens to go wrong, you don't hurt yourself. I've already done that from the roof of our house, and it worked beautifully. All right, here goes. Good luck, Snork. Very nice. <gasps> now can you hold it up, Snork? <laughs> Say something witty, oh please. It's the Snork. <laughs> you know, it's the fact that it's not what he said, but it's the fact that <laughs> I was... <laughs> 
I was thinking, say, you know, I wanted him to say something, something witty and sarcastic, but he just said something so obvious and matter of fact that. It's all right, Snog I made myself laugh. Just as I thought, he can't fly and wave at the same time. Interesting. Oh no. That was mean, Stinky. If I could get him to wave with both arms, he'd probably fall. Look, we don't want You're a little shithead. Why don't you just go away? I can find lots to do with that machine. Hey, if I can figure out how to get him to let go of the of the flying thing, of the flying thing, he'll fall to his death. That'll be fucking funny. Oof. Oh, he's hit a tree. Come on, hurry. That's got to hurt. Grab his body! He's been knocked out. He looks dead to me anyway. Where are they? What's happened to the wings? In the tree. Ah, he won't want them anymore, so now I can have them. Now, let me see. This guy's the worst character. Uh, are you going to use the wings anymore? I might not. Why? Oh, well, I'll have them if you don't want them. I want to fly in the sky too. You're gonna There's fall a like a brick. Moon, fetching and carrying mostly. A you bean shaped brick. Them. I'll need somewhere to build the ship. And somewhere to store all the materials so they'll be dry and at hand. Yes, you will, Snork. I can see that. I can do the building myself, but I'll need some help, and when it's finished, you can have the wings. Great! I'd love to help you. I'm super I interested anyway, to see. Now that I can have the wings, I'll work twice as hard. You won't regret it, Snork. I promise you, you won't. Aw, splendid moment. Will you help us too, Sniff? Yes, but I want something too. <laughs> I'll let you borrow the wings. No, I'm far too heavy. I only Aww. break them. Don't worry, Sniff. I'm sure I'll think of something you can have. Oh, as long as it's something nice. Oh, I do love helping people. <laughs> We're all heart, Sniff. We know that for sure. <laughs> I love Sniff. But yeah, I'm super excited to see where uh, Snork's uh, flying machine goes. Watch out for that. If, Val if Valheim's taught the internet anything, beware of trees. I've given your present a lot of thought, you know. Huh? Well, what about a gold coin? What? Wow, that sounds great! A real gold coin? Oh boy, yes, that's a deal! <laughs> All heart sniff. Jeez, that really got him going. Like, I like the thought of a character that's greedy, but not, you know, an asshole, you know? Hi, Snork Maiden! Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> My thoughts I exactly. Ask you something. What is it? Tell me, Snork Maiden, is it true that your brother gave those wings to Moomin? Yes, it is. He's helping Snork to build the shed as payment. Also, I've noticed that uh, Snork's glasses designs has, design has changed. I'm not opposed. It's just it's just fascinating to see that as a as a as a series progresses, you notice subtle changes in designs that the characters undergo. Very nice. I really he hope he doesn't hurt himself. Ground to get used to wearing them before you try to go too high. I don't want anything to happen to you. I'll practice. I promise. Smart boy. Don't get yourself hurt, you bean. Where are you gonna practice tomorrow? I haven't decided. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'll find somewhere when I come out tomorrow. Perhaps on that small hill near the clear. Well, that can't be too dangerous. I'll see you there. <laughs> God, this is just adorable. Oh, he's so happy. Moment, you put those inside. Stinky's gonna sneak, gonna steal them. Oh no, Stinky's gonna steal them. Hi, Moment. Where do you put the wings? On the table outside. You must have gone past them if you came in through the veranda door. No, I didn't. They're not there. What? You're right. They're gone. Somebody's stolen them. What's the matter with you two? Is something wrong? 
Yes, somebody's stolen Moomin's wings. Well, perhaps they haven't been stolen. Of course they have, and I bet I know who did it, too. Thank you, Snork Maiden. Where are we going? Do you know where they are? Oh my god, <laughs> Stinky's gonna jump off the cliff. It's Stinky! Oh, you, well, it certainly didn't take you long. Just a minute, Stinky. Those are my wings. See? I knew it was him. <laughs> Stop, you horrible creature! I certainly will not! If you give them back, Stinky, I'll let you try them out later. I promise! No way, Moomin! They're mine now! I'm gonna be a high flyer! Look out, Moomin! Oh! oh. Moment, he'll get zapped by electricity and fall out of the sky. Look, Moment, now he's going towards the sea. But Stinky didn't know how to maneuver the wings and was taken further and further <laughs> off. <laughs> Thank you, narrator. Turn around when you turn back. <laughs> Until. Does the heart good to see karma in action? This was just a fun, cute episode. I, I liked it, but I do, I do see that they're uh, building up. They're building up towards uh, Snork's flying ship, which I'm excited about because I was wondering since episode three if that was going to lead into something, and I feel like Snork's going to be start starting to work on that flying ship, and I'm excited to see where that goes. But just seeing Moomin so happy with those wings was just so cute. I. Uh, it, Fucking stinky. Why has he got to be such a jackass? Just, just spoil the boy's fun. Just be a just be a little thief. Let him get let him get washed in the ocean. He needs a bath. I was hoping to see the I was hoping to see the boy do, do some do some gliding. He was so happy. That was so cute. It was so sweet and wholesome. This this episode was just cute. What else can I say? And just just seeing just seeing them build up on you know. Helping Snork towards his goal, his his flying ship, and that, that's awesome. I'm excited to see where that goes. As I said, like even when even when I'm not like full in, like like right now, there's no big continuity things happening. But I'm still excited to go into the next episode. That's just that's just how great this show is. And I'm only like 11 episodes in, so let's get let's get into episode 12, the pirates. I don't want to be doing a One Piece reaction because that is certain. Because considering Toei, that's a certain death for a channel. Oh, right into it, it seems. Captain Blood and his band of feared pirates had sailed the seas Captain for many years, Blood? But never could he remember a storm such as this. Captain Blood can think of no better death than to journey to the bottom of the sea, losing the last battle against his old adversary. But oh, must she too perish in this terrible storm? Oh, good book, Moomin. Ooh, it's great. I, I was thinking when we what got into it, storm. what it's series did we all. just step into? Oh, I'm so glad I'm not on my own on a night like this. I feel Aww. safe in Moomin House. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw the skull and crossbones flying from the mast, and I think I caught sight of a cannon, but I could have been mistaken. You must be joking. I never joke. I can't see anything. It's too far away to make out any sort of skull and crossbones. <laughs> Try this. Who is this guy? Ah, got a telescope. Now why didn't you let me have this before? It might have helped. Oh <laughs> 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 well, jeez. Also, this is some uh, that's it. She's some well-animated water. Snork Maiden, I have a letter for you. It says I've been invited to Smash. Colors weave into a spire of flame. <gasps> oh no, is Stinky gonna be in there? Where? From in there? Hmm, weird. Oh, I know. The Snork must have come back. Oh, oh yes, Snork. File's a bit corrupted. 
Little Mai just glitched out of existence there for a moment. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Yo! Let go of Snork Maiden! Like little Mai. <laughs> My revenge will be terrible. You tell him, little Mai. Captain Rumpot, you are surrounded. Let Snork Maiden go. Do you hear me, Captain? To a gold button land lover like you, never. She's a good looking wench, fair skinned and nicely rounded. <laughs> Bad touch. Dude, she's a kid. We've got all your men locked up tight. This is not okay. This is not okay. Please get Snork Maiden away from him. I'm afraid he'll hurt her and she'll be frightened. I'm trying to test, but it's very awkward all this. I've not come across anything like it before. But it's not her fault that his ship sank, Inspector. I know, I know. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I should have been a gardener. You have two hours to get the ship ready to sail, and all my crew with her, mine, or else I'll... Now, don't worry, my pretty one. I won't harm a single hair on your head, but I must have something to threaten them with. Or else I'll feed her to the hungry shark. Ah! Hush, girl, I won't hurt you. Are you sure? <sighs> such like so if you except for kidnapping a minor go think about it free to go anywhere you like on foot of course the fresh air the sun on your face no worry of shipwrecks no storms at sea what do you think we are huh we're pirates not highwaymen it's not so bad being a highwayman you know I'm a highwayman when I make it please come <laughs> He's lost it. Look at how evil little Mai looks. Hey, land lovers, compliments to the galley. The young lady wants a drink. All right, Captain. I'm coming, Snark Maiden. I'll take it, Inspector. It's too dangerous. You must leave it to us now, Moomin. Just a minute, Inspector. I think we should let Moomin go. And I've got an idea that just might work. Snuff him. Snuff him to the rescue. You have an awful lot of courage, and you'll have to do it all on your own. Do you think you can do it, Moomin? Of course. The bigger one is for you, Captain, and the little one for Snark Maiden. Now move away. Why is it so red? Well, it's strawberry juice. It's very good. Strawberry juice isn't exactly my favorite tipple, you know. No, the small one will do. Oh, no. Hey, are, young lady. No, no, Snark Maiden. Please, don't drink it. Why not, my young bucko? It's not poisoned, is it? But don't be silly. Poisoned? Oh, no, no. Perhaps a sleeping potion. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> As I thought. You drink it. Oh, no, 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 sir. I'm not thirsty at all. What's the matter, me lad? You said the drink wasn't poisoned, didn't you? So drink. No, man. Aha. You're her swain, are you? Wait, I what? Never understand. Anyway, one of you will have to drink it, and now! Not her! I'll do it! I'll do it! Give me 
Give it to me. No, Moomin, don't. There's something in it. You'll be poisoned. It's all right, Snort Maiden. It's nothing dangerous. Don't worry about me. I'm drinking. Like, Moom and Mama does know some, like, magic potion recipes. So I'm curious... The way he was reacting, I think it, I think it probably is a sleeping potion. Agreed. Well, this one's just... The inspector let all the pirates go after a week. Well, they hadn't done any pirating in Moomin Valley, and wouldn't be doing any either. Not without a ship. I mean, he... he fucking... he kidnapped a miner, dude! You should at least keep him in jail for that! You know... It, leave it to Moomin Valley, right? To... To take Snork Maiden getting kidnapped and held hostage by a by a criminal, held it held held, by, held on like with a knife to her, leave it to Moomin Valley to take that scenario and turn it into comedic gold. Cause that was a funny episode, even though like starting out it's just like holy shit. <laughs> He's holding a knife to Snork Maiden. That's not okay. Like honestly, I would have I would have put the sleeping potion in both of them, so that at the very least the pirate would be drinking the the, the pirate would be drinking the sleeping potion. Maybe it'd make Snork Maiden go to sleep, but hey, it's better to it's better for her to be sleeping potioned than for her to be held hostage by a fucking pirate. Threatening her with a goddamn knife, and it seemed like right because there's there's like the 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 trade-off between him being like, don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Between oh she's oh she's soft and plump and round and and pretty, and I'm just like, dude, she's a kid. Not okay, dude. You're not okay. <laughs> poor Snork Maiden. Poor poor Snork Maiden. The last dragon on Earth. I'm I consider me. Consider my interest peaked. Like, okay, we're gonna see some dragons. I'm really excited because I love dragons. Lovely rainy day. The rain was falling on Moomin Valley as though the heavens had decided to empty themselves. Gotta love a good storm. Like, not a destructive one, but just one that's it just was like, the oh, it's weather that anyone could remember. Mama, can I borrow this? Of course, dear. No, no, no question what for? Do? Yes, dear, but what do you need them for? There we it's go. It's a secret. A secret? Yeah, sort of. I'll want the sieve back, Mama, but you can keep the jar if you like. Thanks. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, there are puddles everywhere. Hello, Mr. Hello? Henry. Oh, good morning, Moomin. Oh, 
It's all misty now. What are you doing, Moomin? Observing very closely. Oh, splendid, my boy. I'm glad you find botany so exciting. Oh, what exactly is it you're observing? I'm sure I saw a beautiful crayfish in there. Crayfish? Excuse me, young man, but that is zoology. Quite the most <laughs> uninteresting field. <laughs> well, then. Also, it's so weird to hear crayfish. Because I'm so used to crawfish. And that... That doesn't really look like a crawfish. <laughs> so it's like a salamander. Get a better... <laughs> Come on, Moomin, you you got to be able to tell that's not a crawfish. Huh? It's adorable! A dragon. <laughs> Moomin the sieve. Mama's going to be disappointed. The worst thing. The worst thing possible, Moomin. Everything's so fresh after the <laughs> Look at it. Moomin. Yes, it's <laughs> Snuffed him before anybody else sees it. Dragon. Ah, uh, yeah, I was right. It must be a baby dragon. Oh, that oh, that picture of Snort Maiden. That's adorable. Pushed up by the rain. A dragon of my own. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. Oh, I hope I did a adorable. Dragon. What I'll do, I'll take the lid off the jar so you can get some fresh air, little dragon. Aww. See? That's better, isn't it? Come on, little fella. We'll give you a cuddle to make you feel better. Ow! Oh. Oof. What a fierce little dragon you are. When you're bigger and start to like me, I'll take you swimming in the sea. Aww. This is so oh, cute! I'm sorry, you must be starving! <laughs> Just those bright eyes. Wow. Gosh, that's really clever, little dragon. The dragon's gonna, gonna cause mischief. I, I can just tell. Moomin Mama, I found this near the big puddle. What, what do you Thank have in you your sniff. throat, Sniff? Moomin, I told you I wanted it back. It's my very best one. Sorry, Ma. Did you catch anything with a sieve, Moomin? Yes, he did. Something that's now hidden in his room. Big mouth. I suppose certain people I might mean, keep other small things in jars. One of those... Beetles and spiders, mosquitoes, scorpions, or poisonous centipedes. Horrible things that multiply and multiply every week and grow and grow until the jars oh, are too small. Jeez, oh my. <laughs> like that. And there'll be so many of them, thousands and thousands, and they'll take over Moomin Valley and eat us all. Well, <laughs> I haven't got a centipede. Hmm, I wonder if centipedes come from outer space. <laughs> the rain could have brought them down. What a good question. <laughs> I saw a puddle as big as a lake. Sniff sounds like he's got something in his throat. It isn't a centipede. The cards told me that if I caught five minnows, one right after the other, I'd be traveling south. South? You're joking. Not at all. I believe in the cards. But Snuffkin, winter's not here yet. I know that. But the cards tell you things for a reason, Moomin. Oh, do they really? But it would be awful if you went away, Snuffkin. Just awful. I mean, I'd be very lonely. And anyway, Aww. who would I talk to or tell my secrets to? Oh, Snuffkin, quickly! You must come up to Moomin House! Now? Yeah. Have you ever seen a dragon, Snuffkin? No, of course not. They all disappeared off the face of the earth many hundreds of years ago. But perhaps they didn't all disappear. What if there was one alive somewhere? 
Well, you were right, Moomin. Huh? I think you found a real dragon. How did he get up there? He mustn't fall. He might lose his tail. Don't move, little dragon. And Snufkin, keep quiet. He might get frightened and do something silly. Don't worry, I'll soon have you down. This will do. I'll lay it on the floor here. Jump, little dragon. Don't be afraid. Come on, hold on to this and we'll bring you down slowly. Don't panic. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good idea, Moomin. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He doesn't like that. Oh, look at him go! Look at him! My dragon can fly! He's flying! He's flying! Oh. Come down, little dragon! You might crash into something! Oh. Come down! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Snuffkin. He might bite. <laughs> Sarah just in t in t roll intimidate. I don't think so. He's a very unusual pet. I think he likes you more than me. Small but savage, if you ask my opinion. That sounds just like you, little Mai. <laughs> Got an affinity for Mr. nipping about ears. ears, doesn't he? Except Snufkins, why doesn't he bite him? Go on, dragon! Go on, bite him! He's really tasting good! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think he's trying to heat up Snufkins' coffee. He must really like him. Come on, little dragon. <gasps> Feisty. I'm sure that'll keep him quiet. I'd better go. Thanks for talking, Mom. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh no, it'll suffocate him. Oh. Oh. No. He only seems to like Snuffkin. Well, we all like Snuffkin. <laughs> Stupid old dragon. Everyone no, likes Snufkin. This will be best for him. Oh, I wonder if he'll come back to visit us. You can visit him in Snufkin's tent. I expect little dragon's already sitting on his shoulder. It doesn't matter anyway. Snufkin's going south soon. We'll be able to go together. No. Oh, my dear Moomin, oh. never mind. Oh. No, the boy. No tears. No. Well, you're a bit of a problem. I don't want you here, little dragon. Go on, go away. Go to Moomin. Don't do that. Oh, come on, please go to Moomin. That's a fifth. Oh, dear. Hmm? Any luck? Not bad. Are you going far? Oh, a fair way. Would you like some fresh fish? I'm sure you'll get hungry. Yeah, what do you want in return? A small favor. Take this as far as you can, open the lid, and just leave it. What? Just leave it? Yes, in a nice quiet place with lots and lots of flies. Flies? What's in there? A dragon. A dragon? Does it bite? Well, it might. <laughs> this is a big favor. I don't even like minnows. Oh, they're not too bad if you roast them. Keep the lid on, but make sure you open it up later so it can catch the flies. All right, as long as it doesn't try to bite me. Don't worry, it won't. Like, I, I'm just... I'm just, I may, I may be a bit silent at the moment, but I'm just engrossed, you know? Hello. Hi. Oh, 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 where is he? Who is that? My dragon. 
He, he must have come here, Snufkin. Oh, really? I thought he was home with you, sleeping in your room. No, I let him out. Ah, well, dragons are very fickle. All they really care about is big, fat flies. It's best to forget about him, Moomin. Did you catch your five minnows? No, you were right. The water's too fast. Oh, really? So oh. I won't go south until winter comes. You'll stay here, Snuff then? Snufkin. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't do to go against the cards. Now would it, Moomin, my friend? Oh, that's great! You're staying, oh. Snufkin. Fantastic! That's really, really good! Aww. Oh. Ah, uh, perhaps I shouldn't have painted the float bright red. It might have scared those little minnows right away. Okay, let's go. Yeah. What a good friend. That dragon was sort of stupid. Baby dragons are. They make the world's worst pets. They never want to settle in one place. Yeah, you're right. It was very funny, though, when it bit little Mai's ear. <laughs> I think it gave her a taste of her own medicine. Yeah. <laughs> Moomin was very happy that Snufkin was staying in Moomin Valley and not going south until winter. And as for the dragon, well, who wants to be loved by a silly old dragon? Like I already said, uh, this show really subverts my expectations, you know? It's just, like, I, I see patterns, you know? And, like, with a lot of cartoons that, that have come out, like, maybe it's just, maybe it's just in, like, Western animated stuff, you see these patterns that, like, these tropes that just happen over and over and over again, and it's just like, oh, that this happened, therefore this is going to happen, and I dread that happening. Like, uh, with how it started off with the Invisible, with the invi with Episode 9, with the Invisible Girl, Ninny. I was, I was thinking, like, like going into it, it was, just gonna, it was like, oh no, this is going to be the Invisible, this is going to be the Imaginary Friend episode, oh, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you can't see her, and then, then this plot twist, oh, she's actually a real Invisible Girl. But no, they, like, immediately subverting my expectations, when it's just like, oh, there she is, they can see the bell, she is there completely subverting my expectations and taking it into a way of like of like anxiety and all of this beautiful complexity and this I'm just, I'm just thinking oh no here's the here's the here's the dangerous pet episode like oh it's cute but it, but it's biting us and it's mean you, you got to get rid of it is it's not good for it's not good for us but I want to keep it because it's because look at it but they didn't go that route. It was more about, you know, Moomin not wanting Snufkin to leave, and the dragon was just symbolic of something, something that he, something that he cared about, leaving him. And you know, Snufkin being the goddamn master general of 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 best friendness, being like, oh yeah, no, I didn't catch any, I didn't catch any minnows. I, I, I guess, I, I guess you were right, Moomin. I guess I'm not going. I guess I'm not going south yet. And that, what a good friend. That, that's 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 that, that's good feels. That's real good feels. Okay, episode 14 is apparently our neighbor is a tough teacher. We'll see how tough this teacher is. I love mountainous areas. It's just so beautiful, you know. A fence. <laughs> There's these two troublemakers. Moomin, what are you looking at? Oh, hello, Papa. Nobody's lived in there for years. Somebody's just moved in. Oh, really? Now then, you all stay out here. My plan will only work if it looks as though I'm on my own. Oh, but what is, why is he? Plan, Papa? Why is he being so devious? I never expected... I hope Papa Devi knows what he's doing. Then don't devious up that antics. Me. me neither. Devious antics from Moom and Papa. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> what do you want, my good man? Huh? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think anyone lived here. Well, we do now, you know. We just moved in. Really? Oh, do forgive me, madam. I certainly didn't mean to trespass. Ah, so what are you doing here in the garden, then? Researching the travel system of ants. I didn't know they had one. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fascinating. <laughs> How they find their way and build their roads. And they're not here now, of course, but this is their main road. It's very quiet at the moment, but at busy times, it's packed. I'm afraid I can't see any main road. Oh, you would if you were an expert. Anyway, I'll point it out to you next time they're on the move. If I'm in the Moon vicinity, Papa's smooth. Course, but it's worth looking out for. Uh, welcome to Moomin Valley. I'm your next door neighbor, although we live quite a long way away. I'm. Ah, oh, so you must be Moomin Papa, are you? Ah, yes, that's me. <laughs> Uh, we were told the Moomins were a bit unusual. Uh, very nice, they said, though. How very flattering. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you are Mrs. Uh... Philly Junk, mother and housewife. Well, it's an honor to meet you, Mrs. Uh, Philly Junk. <laughs> well done, Papa. I like it her. It looks like you found us some new friends to play with. It looks like we're throwing a party. Oh yeah, I like her design. She's like like this tall ferret-like woman. Tell me what you want. What, what 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 are you crazy people doing? It's great. Those kids will just love it if they survive, Moomin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Now then, children, the Moomins are all a little bit odd, so behave properly. Yes, mother, we you will. <laughs> now, children, behave. Yes, mother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was very kind of you to invite us, Moom and Mama. Come in, please, and make yourselves at home. Oh, thank you all very much indeed. <laughs> Welcome to Moomin Valley. <laughs> oh. All in my hair. <laughs> it looks very untidy, doesn't it, Mother? Let me introduce the children. They all look different. Well, yes. Only Moomin is really ours. I'm sure they'll all get on. Oh, I'm afraid my children do not play. They would much rather read or study. Oh, are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> well, I love how the static area. they are. Just you can watch just... the others play. <laughs> Make sure the chairs are clean. Yes, mother, we, we will. will. <laughs> Won't in... you let them play at all? Just in unison. No, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> I am <immediately. laughs> She She's on, very you know, strict, you but she's funny. Slide? No, definitely not. <sighs> and you're really quite sure, are you? Yes. yes. Oh no. So. They're mm. stuffy. Yahoo! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Moomin sounds like he's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine Mrs. Philly Jock being <laughs> like, what is that horrible noise? Oh, that's a Lamai's laughter. It's a curse. Yet again. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, and like I was saying, yet again. Snork Maiden's penchant for ground pounding. I think it's time for the glorious finale, Papa. How long until? How long until they unstuffy the Philly junk? in your honor. Fireworks? Uh, I made them especially to welcome you. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so nervous. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh my Come goodness. On. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please come Mrs. back Billy soon. Junk enjoyed her party. She's very lucky that I didn't fight her. <laughs> yes, go, she Moomin Papa. Had go on the slide. I'm sure she would have loved it. Grown-ups don't slide down chutes, Sniff. They're too afraid of looking silly. <laughs> you clearly don't know your... Oh, no! Papa. Oh, I'm very sorry, Moomin, but don't worry. I'll fix it. There's nothing much broken. Oh. What my dear? Well, I thought it had been such a long time since I'd been on the slide that I'd have a go. <laughs> he too thick for the slide. Too heavy for it. I only <laughs> meant it. Why don't we make it strong enough for me and Mama to play on as well? Oh, huh? I think she'd like that. God, I love this. I love this. I don't want you mixing with those noisy children ever again. Do you hear me? Good afternoon. Please stay away from my children. Oh, but why? Oh, never mind. Let's go. <laughs> Forget her. She's uptight and, her, and, she, and she wears she wears dresses down to her knees. Hey, hang on a well, ankles. I don't know body parts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff has some of the best expressions. But I think Mrs. Billy Junk's probably going to match Sniff. doing their best. No! Not the Kiwi! Why aren't you playing with Moomin and the others? I don't think they want to play with us. They didn't call for us when they went past. No, Stinky's well, a I bad influence. Much better than Moomin's. It's a great place to play. Do you? Yes, would I lie to you? Come on, if you're coming, because oh, no. I can't wait. What's Stinky up to? Oh, I don't no. trust him. Oh no, well hopefully interacting with Stinky will will make Philly Junk be, be like, Oh, I get, I see. <laughs> there are worse things than the Moomins. This one! Oh god, no. They're gonna get washed down the river. A bit frightening. Without the thrill, where's the fun? You need a bit of danger to spice it up. Stinky's about to commit triple homicide on children. For the love of god, Stinky. Think of the consequences. I do it all the time. One of the things I'm best at, even if I do say so myself. So well, you, you go first. <laughs> Thank you, Moomin. You were such a rope swinger, Stinky. Come on, Stinky, show us how you do it. Yes. If you go first, I'll be second. <laughs> Good boy, Moomin. Now tell the truth. You've never done it, have you, Stinky? Of course I've done it, stupid. <laughs> now now go. Come on, don't be such a spoil sport. We're all here waiting to cheer you on. Come on. All right, everybody. I give you the brave and bold Tarzan Stinky. We're watching. <laughs> Are you ready, Stinky? It should be good. A big cheer, everyone. Ready? Yay, Stinky. Oh, Stinky, my jump. big brave hero, jump. <laughs> well, go on. We're all waiting for you, Stinky. Come on, Stinky. Show us how it's done. Come on, Stinky. Come on, you can do it. Either the branch is going to give out or the rope will. <laughs> or he just won't be able to get back up from it. Leave me here, you fucks! He probably he almost certainly didn't, but it sounded like it. But 
Stinky was left on his own to decide whether to climb up the rope or drop into the river. And the Philajong children had more fun than they'd ever had before. But they didn't get home until very late in the evening. Bye, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Mommy. Bye, Momen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Aw. Oh, my dear children, I told you to stay at home. Where on earth have you been? Where have you been? With Moomin and the others. They kidnapped you, did they? No, we've been playing with them. Well, you can just forget about the Moomins. We're moving out as soon as we possibly can. Moving, Mother? Yes, right away from this valley. This is no place for a spotless and well-ordered home. What's the matter? No, we don't want to move. Uh, we want to stay, Mother. Oh! <laughs> Moomin House is nice and dusty. We want to stay in Moomin Valley forever. Oh, please, Mother, we love it here. Oh, after all I've done for you children. In my Come on, Billy John. Children usually get what they want. Come on. Come on, Philly Junk. how Phila Junk and her three children became permanent residents of Moomin Valley. Aww! I like that. That, that was, that was nice. I love, I love, I love, I love them. I, I immediately, they're great. Like, I just find it funny. These three unified robot children moving in unison. It just, it's, it's mostly speaking and thinking in unison, but the second the, like, it's, it's visual coding, right? Like, like, with, with Mrs. Philly Junk, the kids are, they, they, they act in unison. They act as, they act as their mother would, would please them to. And then, and then when they, they get around Moomin, they act out of unison. They, they, they become their own people, you know? They they act as you know children. They they don't they don't do things in unison. They do things out of they do things out of unison. They act independently, and like by the end by the end of the episode, they're they're acting on of their own accord. When when Miss when Miss Village Junk's like we're moving out of this place. I don't I don't like this. I don't trust this place. This isn't a good place to raise good mannered, well well behaved, and uh, clean people in this in this valley. And so we, and they're just like, no, we love it here. Come on, th this place is awesome. And I'm glad, I'm glad she at least, she at least decided that my children, my children like it here. I may not like the, f I may not like the fact that the that 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 they're that they're getting dirty and 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 going out and and putting themselves in danger. But they seem happy, so I'm gonna do, I'm going to. Do what do what will cause them. I'll, I'll do what allows them their happiness. I'm glad she had. I'm glad she at least came to that. You know, I do like Phila Junk. She is. I, I, she is hilarious. She's uptight, and that can lead to like some of the worst characters. But I feel like Philly Junk. She is. She represents the humor side of that. Like the like just this uptight like worried just this neurotic panic about you know oh it's oh this place is filthy oh these these children are 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 not, are are laughing and and having fun i'm terrified F fireworks explosions in the sky run children <laughs> I like her. I like her faces of panic. I like when her hair ploofs out when she's when she's startled. When when she's caught off guard and and that. I like Philly Junk. I hope she's I hope she becomes a frequent character in the series. Because I like her. I really, really do. She's she's funny. I, I hope that I hope they are a staple of this series. 
And even if not, I, I'm sure the, I'm sure they'll do they'll do some good stuff with her. Snork Maiden's Lost Memory. Oh no, is this going to be an amnesia episode? As always, Moomin Valley, ha Adventures from Moomin Valley has sub has subverted my expectations so hard. Every time they do this, so here's a trope. Oh no, it's going to go the annoying tropey route. It doesn't. So, I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this episode. I've gushed about the art before. And just look at this. It's so good. For a whole week, Snork Maiden had been curled up on the sofa, reading fairy tales. It's a lovely day, and at last, Moomin has persuaded her to come out for a walk in the lonely mountains. Oh, They are adorable. Oh, look, Moomin. It's Edelweiss. <coughs> I'm sure it is. I know what it looks like. I'm sorry, but it's not. You have really good eyesight then, Snork Maiden. Be careful. They don't care about danger in fairy tales. That's why they call them fairy tales, silly. I mean, come on, Snork Maiden. Fair Princess, please accept this, my humble offering. Thank you, Brave Knight. Aww. Right, Moomin, this isn't Edelweiss. <laughs> See, I told you. Oh! <laughs> Why does it have this jaunty music while she's falling down a cliff? <laughs> well, she is just... she's rolling. <laughs> okay. Oh, the hazards of being round. the booball she's still breathing she's just knocked herself out strong <laughs> oh moomin what's happened to her she's unconscious oh, what are you trying to do i want to get her home to mama oh difficult she should lose a bit of weight <laughs> If we splash cold but water on your face, they're both they're both the same them. weight, though. Are you all right, Snark Maiden? Uh, where am I? We're still up in lonely mountains. Who am I? Why, Royal Highness, the Princess of Lonely Mountains? What? A princess? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh no. Oh yeah, oh yeah, with that ridiculous shape? Ha! Huh. No, a gesture perhaps. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! Moo and Mama, help! You must have some kind of potion. Are you two gonna tell me what you're so busy looking at? Send a maid to my room, my good man. <laughs> That's about right. My good man. She fell and banged her head, and now she thinks she's a royal princess. What? Oh no, she's concussed. Let me try it. Try what? To get Stark Maiden's memory back. What else? Oh, how? Well, I think that if she By sees screaming. me, she'll remember me, and then she'll remember everything else too. Don't be silly, little Mai. If she doesn't remember me, why should she remember you, eh? Simple, because I'm unforgettable. <laughs> Whatever is that, I suppose. Admittedly. You're another court jester, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> little Mai, the court jester. <laughs> oh, very funny. She's a better clown than the other one. You can perform at our wedding. Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! And not now this. <laughs> what in the world? All right, shooter number one, you may now enter. Oh, that's me. This should be good. 
He is from a foreign land and does not know the ways of your kingdom. <laughs> Admittedly, this is a very cute way to take this. Oh, all right. Very well. Here is the first riddle. Are you ready? On your way. Now then, listen. What is it that is yellow, has four legs, and sings? Oh, dear. An unusual canary? Four <laughs> legs, you nincompoop. I don't know any birds with four legs. <laughs> Who said it was a bird? <laughs> All right, then. What's the answer, Snark Maiden? He shows no respect. Throw him into a dungeon and give him no food. Your Highness, he is temporarily out of his mind after his long journey here. <laughs> He's out of his mind! An unusual canary! Those stories have gone to her head. Hmm, no Sir Galahad, but not bad. Now listen, what is the word upon our mind? Love. That's amazing! Truly, the suitor has brains as well as looks to- And psychic! It's your turn now, Stinky. Well, I suppose that even half of Snork's house would be something. <laughs> this can only go so well. Wow. Now she wants some soup. This will be ample. The poor do not eat much. It would only make them ill. I don't know anyone what? poor around here, Your Majesty. Nonsense. Do up, do up. Do up, do up. We're taking soup to the poor. Do you know where they are, Jester? Oh, I know. Good, wonderful. Take us to them now. They will be so grateful. You bet, princess. Oh no. No, the Philly Jocks, no! <laughs> oh no! Oh yes, it's nice to know that the poor in my kingdom are so well off. Oh no! How's Mrs. Philly Jock gonna take this? She's so stuffy in the tight! Oh, you? Please come over here. Hmm? Oh. Who are you? I'm the princess of Lonely Mountain. Princess? Oh! What moment, your royal highness? Oh Don't no! Keep us waiting. We have a lot to do. Oh no! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, forgive me, your royal highness! I but... had no idea you were... Well, my, my, it's Snark Maiden! That common name again? We are a princess! It all sticks! You're not right in the head, coming here bothering your elders and betters like this. My betters? Oh, are you the queen then? Hmm? I am Mrs. Philly Jonk. Now what do you want? You're just fulfilling our royal duty, bringing soup to the poor. Giving cheer to uh, those less fortunate. Did, no buzzing. Here, my good woman. Now if you just... Poor? How dare you call me poor? <laughs> you who doesn't have a stitch of clothing to your name? Oh, the rich aroma of the soup must have overcome you, Mrs. Philly Jonk. <laughs> Eat it yourself, your majesty. Oh! This is high treason! Send for the guard! Take her to the tower! <laughs> oh my god, she's laughing! Oh, we cannot see! I'm afraid that serves you right, Snork Maiden! Snork Maiden! Don't use that common name! Help us! We cannot see! Please stand still, your royal highness. Oh, hold a moment. Oh, oh, oh! I think it's stuck, woman. Use the handle. Oh! Stop! You're hurting right, me! I'll get you up! Out of the way! Ah, uh, wait a minute. You can't bring that soup, Toreen. It's a family heirloom. And you mustn't hit Snork Maiden on the head. You might hurt her. Stop fooling around and get this thing off, will you? All right! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Before. Oh, you were like your royal highness? Oh, forgive us, your royal highness. 
Sprinkle some cold water over her face. No, she'd hate that, Mama. Snort maiden! Oh, it's no good, Moomin. I don't think she'll wake up to anything but your royal highness. Your highness! Your Look highness! Up! Wow, did little Mai really save the day? Maiden. Oh, I'm so glad your royal highness is with us again. I hope your royal highness is not badly hurt. Where am I? Where am In I? In Moomin Valley, of course, stupid. Where do you think? That's weird. I thought Moomin and I had gone for a walk in the Lonely Mountains. Oh, thank Didn't goodness. We, huh? Do you remember who I am, Snort Maiden? Moomin, what are you talking about? Of course I do. And you don't think you're a princess anymore? Princess? Have you gone crazy or something? <laughs> what princess? What do you mean, Moomin? Hooray! She's back to normal. Snort Maiden's back to normal. Yes, it's nice to have you back again. Yes, it's wonderful. Oh, definitely. <laughs> what is? What's wonderful? Have you all gone loopy or something? Never mind, Snork Maiden. <laughs> you bumped your head, that's all. And so Snork Maiden's brief spell as a royal princess came to an end. Except that she was the only one who didn't remember it. But everyone else in Woman Valley breathed a sigh of relief. Yeah, I like Snork Maiden a lot better when she w without the princess persona. Holy crap! Like she's had some moments in the past. Like I, I didn't I, like, like her being jealous over a piece of wood, and having and using one of the hobgoblins' wishes to give herself the the the, the figurehead's eyes because because Moomin was looking at it w with with adoration. I just like I'm like those moments I'm just like come on snork maiden but I do like her character I, th I think she's I think she's good but uh, I don't like her being a princess that is <laughs> that was that episode was fun and it didn't really subvert my my it didn't really subvert my expectations as much as you know the invisible child, but it's still it was still a good episode. I'm surprised that it was Mrs. Philly Junk that that was the catalyst to Snork Maiden getting her memories back. It was her that 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 put the that, that slammed the terrine on her head, and of course little Mai being savage, <laughs> smacking her over the head, then dousing her with water for. For actually a second time, coming in, coming in helpful for, for, you know, little Mai actually helping, which which is good. I want her to be like an active, rather than just being this whiny bratty kid that, that just does whatever she wants and actively causes problems. I like that she has moments where she can be helpful and you know, a good part of this family they've got. And I, of course, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm elated that one of my new favorite characters, actually, <laughs> at this point, was actually active in helping Snork Maiden get, get her memories back. I hope they explained it to her. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mrs. Villajonk. Uh, Snork Maiden lost her memories and was convinced she was a princess. Oh, you need to rein in those children more. <laughs> If they if you don't, they'll be doing ridiculous. They'll be doing ridiculous things like this. That's why my children are prim and proper. Mother, can we act as if we were princesses? Don't be silly. Get back to your reigning. I like it. Also, I noticed this episode was like a lot more grainy than like a lot of the like any of the other episodes. I think this was just I I don't know if this episode in particular. Would either was just like a bad recording or a bad copy, but it was really, really grainy and, and like had a lot of film error on it. But that's fine. I, I like it got it got to a point where I was just like, well, this is a, a kind of annoying, kind of hard to look at, but not. It didn't hurt the episode, in my opinion. Honestly, this episode was just kind of. It was fun. It wasn't. It wasn't as annoying as most Amnesia episodes can be. It, it took its premise of Snork Maiden thinks she's a princess, and really, and really ran with it. Cause it just, it's like, if Snork Maiden were a princess, what would she act like? And there we go. It was fun, and funny. 
So that was my reaction to Moomin episodes 11 through 15. Yes, I fully intend to react to the full series, the films, perhaps the 2019 series, and may even do a full video discussion on the books in the future. I'm fully hooked on Moomin, but please do be patient, I'm just one person and these videos do take a little while for me to make. But I hope you enjoy the other content my channel has to offer in the meantime. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot on this channel to offer and a lot of cool things coming up. Please leave a comment about your favorite parts of the video. And if you want to see the uncut versions, they go up on my copy page way before the fully edited versions come out on the channel. All of your support goes a long way, no matter how little. You guys have blown my expectations out of the water. Thank you so much to all the coffee supporters and the new subscribers. Because of you guys, we hit our first stretch goal. I will be playing and beating Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy soon. But the 10,000 stretch goal is still a long while away. Will you guys guarantee me having to play the RPG Maker game called Changed for the channel by helping this channel get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2021? This is in your hands.